welcome today i am going to start a another topic from ecology so now let's start the topic food chain a food chain is a linear network of different kinds of links in a food web starting from the producer organisms such as grass trees which use radiation from the sun to make their food and ending at the top predator species that is the apex predator species and they traverse or decompose species like the bacteria and the fungi a food chain also shows how the organisms are related with each other by the food they eat each level of a food chain represents a different trophic level which well we have already learned in our earlier classes so for now let's know about hypothesis on food chain there are simply two hypotheses on food chain which are energetic hypothesis and dynamic stability hypothesis the energetic hypothesis suggests that the length of a food chain is limited by the insufficiency of energy transfer along the chain it means that the length of a food chain cannot be unlimited because of the insufficiency of energy as the energy is taken up in each level of the chain now the dynamic stability hypothesis proposes that long food chains are less stable than short chains that's all about the hypothesis part now let's know about the types of food chain there are simply two types of food chain which are grazing food chain and detritus food chain in case of grazing food chain it derive their energy directly from the sun in case of detritus food chain it begin with dead organic matter which is an important source of energy so that's all about the types of food chain now let's know about the ecosystem as ecology is not complete without knowing the ecosystem an ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with the non living components of their environment which interact with each other as a system these biotic and abiotic components are linked together through nutrient cycles and energy flow the ecosystem can be divided into two parts that is natural and artificial the example of artificial ecosystem are croplands like maize wheat rice field etc which are completely man made natural ecosystem can be classified into two parts that is terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem terrestrial ecosystem is a land based community of organisms on the other hand aquatic ecosystem is an ecosystem in a body of water now the terrestrial ecosystem can be classified into three parts these are forest grassland and the desert and the aquatic ecosystem can be classified into two parts that is freshwater and marine now the freshwater ecosystem can be again classified into two parts that is lotic and lantic lotic ecosystem comprise of running water and the lantic ecosystem comprise of standing water that is the still water and lastly the marine ecosystem can be again classified into two parts that is the ocean and the estuaries that's all about the ecosystem now let's move in to the most important part of ecology that is the IUCN red list where IUCN stands for international union for conservation of nature which is founded in 1964 and it is a critical indicator of the health of the world's biodiversity if we go for a research on a species then it can be evaluated or it can be not evaluated if evaluated then we can have the adequate data about the species or we do not have the adequate data that is the data deficient if we have the adequate data about the species then it can be least concern near threatened threatened extinct in the wild 
or it can be extinct. If a species is threatened, then it can be vulnerable, endangered, and can be critically endangered. These are the most important classification of IUCN Red List. With this, I end up the session. That's all for today. And thank you for watching my video till end. If you are new to my YouTube channel, then subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get early notification when I upload my video on life sciences.